So it is important that we don't judge people through our own lens, but that we try to understand the person's experience through their eyes, their history, their situation. And it, it is not a sign of weakness. Uh, I, I think it's, I like to call it more a sign of, of processing. Sometimes people are trying to process the new information that is coming into their lives, the new sense of threat that is coming into their life. They're trying to process the fear response and how to work that through in their lives. Trauma can stay with you for a long time, but it can also stay with you for a very short time. And uh, if you do, if you take certain steps and allow that process of transformation to take place, how do I get some balance and harmony in my life? And how can I share that balance and harmony with others? Because any identity that is fully formed will move from a narcissistic approach to a more altruistic approach in every single case, because as we become older and more mature, we also become more able to see in different layers. So this is impacting in this area of life, but where else is it impacting? And how can I be of service in other areas? That doesn't mean you become a superhero. We can't be everything to everyone. We're not Superman. But it does mean that as we, as we grow, as we grow older, we do expand to help other people. And this could not be achieved, by the way, without this existential inquiry that makes us sometimes feel threatened and it pushes some of us into trauma. And also almost everyone pushes almost everyone into grief and loss, even if we experience it differently. I'm sure that a lot of people, we have cried many times over what's going on in the world right now, right? And maybe not just with COVID, maybe we have cried because, because of how the world is being polluted and we don't want to see it that way. We have cried because of how many animals are, are disappearing or being extinct. Who knows? There's, there's so many things that we could focus on. But it is an existential inquiry. It is a call to action. How are you going to show up for the world from today on? Yeah, it, it's it's hard. I realize it's hard because we we're such social animals, aren't we? And it's all about emotions sometimes when we interact with people, how we make them feel, how they make us feel. Um, but it is important if we're going to help people. And I know some of you are interested in what do I do? How do I help people that are experiencing this? Uh, try to be as neutral as possible for their sake, mm -hmm. and while still remaining human. So with that, it brings me to point eight. Don't assume what is going to be helpful. Rule number one, rule number one of anyone that wants to help is ask. Three-letter word, ask, A-S-K. What do you need to feel safe? Are you feeling safe? That should be the first. How do you feel? That should be the first one. How do you feel? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. If you can believe it. If it's like, I'm fine but maybe you don't believe it. <laughs> Are you sure? You're not, you're not sounding like you're fine. So, but make sure that you do that in a, in a kind way, not in a pushy way, not in a, in a sticky big way, not like in a, in a way that you want to leave them naked. You know, some people just need to know that you're there. They don't need you to be a counselor. Or you shouldn't be a counselor anyway, if you want to help people. In the workplace, for example, it might be simple things like how is the desk position in the office? Um, I, I've seen a lot of people that get relaxed with very different things. Uh, it's amazing in um, English countries how many people get, get back into relaxed mode with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. You know? mm -hmm. uh, it's wonderful, and that's all they need. However, however that is their experience. It doesn't mean that because I like a cup of tea or like a cup of coffee that makes me relax, that's gonna relax them. So find out, ask, help the process for them. When you're asking, it shouldn't be you're asking because you want to know. You, it should be more a helpful questioning that helps them work out things. Because it's not about us, is it? It's about them. So the question should be, in, in such a way that they, it helps them. Well, 
Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.